So this Chrome extension is super, super cool and puts ChatGPT in your Chrome and it actually comes up as a sidebar. And on top of all, it also creates prompt without you doing anything except highlighting text. So let me show you how to get it and we'll explore together what it can do. First thing you need to do is to actually install it on Chrome. And all you have to do is go to usechatgpt.ai and I will put this link under the video and add it to Chrome. It's actually free, so you shouldn't have any problems. I've already got it. Um, so just add it to your Chrome, then go to your extensions, find it and pin it to your uh, uh, bar so you can actually see it. So now that it's all ready to use, all you need to do is find an article and that could be your article, that could be somebody else's article. It doesn't have to be article at all. It could be website, whatever text you want to use it on, you can. And I found this article, which is uh, very academic, uh, a little bit hard to understand about denoising diffusion post, uh, post processing for low light image enhancements, <clears throat> which even the uh, uh, title is a mouthful. So um, I chose a, a small one, like a short one, because I don't want to go through pages and pages. Um, I just want to show you what the extension does. All you have to do is highlight the text you want to work with. And as you can see, the use chat GPT extension shows right underneath. And when you click on it, you can see all the things you can do with this extension without writing a single prompt. And you can summarize, you can get a list of key takeaways. You can actually translate it into different languages. Not many, but um, as, as you can see, all of the major languages are here. You can ask ChatGPT to explain it to you. You can find action items, which is actually really, really good if you have a very long text and you don't want to go through every single paragraph looking for action items. It's very cool. You can improve the writing. You probably shouldn't be doing it um, if this is somebody else's article. You should do it only for your own. You can fix spelling and grammar, again, only for your own copy, not for other people's copy. Uh, unless this is a client and you're doing them um, and you're working for them, you can make it shorter. So, um, this is pretty short, but if you have something that is say four or five pages, you can make it shorter. Or if it's that short and you want to make it longer, you can make it longer. You can change the tone. I really like this one. Um, you can make it professional, casual, straightforward, confident, friendly. You can simplify the language, which is really, really good in cases like this article uh, where it's very academic. They're using words um, and phrases that people don't understand, don't understand very well. So it's really good for that. And you can also paraphrase it. Now, paraphrasing is actually good if you want to uh, use somebody else's work and paraphrase it and use it as your own. It's the same as what we do when we go to university and we write essays. We find somebody's works, we cite it, and we paraphrase it for our essays. Okay, so let's do, the first thing we can do is summarize. Let's just summarize it. And you can see uh, uh, ChatGPT opens on the side here. It writes its own prompt. As you can see, it writes its own prompt. And then it summarizes the whole article for me, which is um, just, um, what is it? A couple of two or three sentences, which is cool. Uh, let's see what else we can do. We'll just go through most of them in here. We can get uh, the list of takeaways. I really, as I said, I really, really like this one. Uh, it usually comes back with three to five key takeaways. Uh, very cool. The next one is, uh, <laughs> let's translate it. Let's translate it in, what language should we do? Let's translate it in German. Let's do German. As you can see, I do not speak German, but I'm pretty sure, like I understand a few words of German. So I know that this is German. I don't know how good it is as a translation, 
But if any of you guys speak a different language and there's an option here, definitely test it and see if it translates really, really well in a different, in the language that you speak besides English. Next, we are going to, we're going to explain this. I want chat GPT to explain what this means. So the text is talking about ways to make dark pictures easier to see. See how much easier this is than denoising diffusion post-processing for low light image enhancement. This, I, I, I'm lucky that I know a bit of photography, so I, I understand, but compare these to um, ways to make dark pictures easier to see. And these are techniques that can make the pictures brighter. Very, very easy. This is so, so useful for um, academic articles like that. We can uh, improve, uh, improve their, oh, uh, did we? Oh, let's find action items. This is good too, uh, especially for long text. See, it tells you things you can do, like consider using low light post-processing diffusion model, apply um, LPDM, which is the low, proce low post-processing diffusion model. So <laughs> the acronym is LPDM, apply LPDM to enhance low light images, conduct experiments. So it actually gives you actionable steps. Super useful. And again, we, st we still haven't written a single prompt. Uh, we're not going to fix spelling and grammar. We're not going to make it shorter or longer because you can play with this together. But let's change the tone. I do like this one. I definitely like this one. Now, the casual is very, very, very street casual. Hey there. So there's this thing called low light image enhancement or LLIE for short. It tries to make pictures taken in dim lighting look better but sometimes it ends up making them look worse now i like this type of language if i am making it into a social media post this is the type of language that people will understand on facebook on instagram on linkedin they're not gonna understand any of that stuff here uh, let's try something else uh, i i do want to try another uh, language another tone so we did the casual Let's do, let's do the um, friendly. Increasing the visibility of images captured in low light scenarios. Where is it? Can be a challenge as in, so it's still a very friendly tone, but it's a little bit less street. I want to say <laughs> like, it's not, it's a little bit more professional. If, if I want to say, that's probably the best, uh, the best explanation. And um, we can simplify the language. As I said, this is super useful for um, really, really hard to understand articles. And again, um, it tells you that uh, LLIE techniques aim to improve visibility of low light images, but they can also reveal. Now, do you see it is very simplified? but it is not the way you will write a social media post. This could be for maybe your blog post if you want to write for some about something like the LLIE. Uh, but yeah, the more you test, the more you will see how to use it in specific situations. And I think there was only one more left in those options. Oh yeah, the paraphrasing. The paraphrasing, if you want to use this type of text. Now, when you're paraphrasing, I strongly recommend that you give credit to the original because you'll never get in trouble. And uh, people generally don't expect you to be uh, a master of everything. They don't expect you to be an expert in everything, especially like if we're talking about uh, the LLIE. Uh, and you found something useful, you can just paraphrase it so it's not just uh, a complete um, copy of what the original article is. And if you actually give them credit, you will be fine. You cannot get in trouble for copyright or anything. So 
Uh, I find a lot of these little tips and tricks and hacks and extensions and little things that can that can make your life so much easier with the help of AI tools. Most of them are posted as tutorials or as links in my membership area in the AI School of Business. I will leave a link uh, under this video if you want to check it out. Or uh, if not, just follow my account here on YouTube and you will see that I post quite often very useful information on ChatGPT, on MidJourney and on other AI tools that will make your business so much better.